Hello and welcome back to Ali Kit Review. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the Northwest Territory waterproof um, short ankle boots. So Northwest Territory is actually quite a, a lesser known uh, company. Um, absolutely spot on boots. Um, they do do quite a lot of different types, mainly for the city market. Um, you know, hiking, walking, rock climbing, that sort of stuff. Um, and I would say that these are um, essentially city boots, just hiking boots. But I have the uh, use them on exercises as well. Um, they are waterproof boots and they do go very well with um, the British Army MTP. So taking a closer look at the boots then, you can see that the main material for the actual boot itself is a toughened suede. Um, it's a cross between the sort of light brown uh, slash tan um, and it's actually really quite nice. So as you can see in there, it is um, breathable cordura, even though it is waterproof. Uh, it's a similar sort of design uh, with the fabrics to the Akus, um, but you know, they are quite different at the same time. As you can see, it's got more common um, widely used eyelets for the laces. These aren't the standard laces that come with the boots. Uh, these are actually Altberg laces. The ones that were previously in it before I got them uh, had sort of worn away. Um, but, you know, Altberg boots are a good fit anyway, even with the slightly darker brown. Moving around the boot then, we can see there is uh, multi-layers to the sole um, and also um, strengthened ridges in the side of the boot there, just to protect the actual footbed itself. Um, and it is quite tough, uh, toughened round the ankle just to give that good uh, protection. Um, they are obviously quite low cut, uh, just slightly bigger than a normal sort of shoe, um, slightly lower um, in height than the Akus. As you can see there, they are actually waterproof um, and do have a waterproof lining, even though it's not a sort of marked Gore-Tex like it normally would be. Um, like I said, it is a multi-layered sole um, with a nice um, solid sort of rubber uh, green uh, layer there, which is just the sort of the in-between uh, between the bottom sole and the actual boot itself. It provides quite a lot of shock absorption there as well, um, and they are really comfortable boots. Moving on to the very bottom, they have the Northwest, um, you know, own brand sort of sole. Um, I cannot fault this sole at all. Um, even though it's not, you know, the same as a Vibram sole, which is quite commonly uh, known now as one of the best soles, it is absolutely spectacular. Um, as you can see, it's got different sort of groove lines, um, different shapes, and that's absolutely spot on for gripping onto all types of terrain, um, especially in the wet as well. These are quite worn down, but there normally is a bit more uh, of a material base there. Um, as you can see, there's different channels for getting away that dirt uh, and keeping the bottom of the, sh the boot quite fresh, uh, you know, keeping it clean and able to grip on the winning surfaces. Moving around to the back of the boot, um, obviously we can see the two layers of the sole, um, the strengthened heel support, um, mainly around the Achilles area. It's, it's rigid there, but it is really, really comfortable as well. You can see there's quite a lot of padding. Uh, I'll show you the inside padding uh, shortly. It also has a, uh, a pull tab on the back, just to um, ease with getting the boots on and off. And obviously around that side, you can see there are um, extended um, eyelets just to pull around that tire extra tightness uh, and pull it into your foot. So as you can see, the actual uh, the tongue, you know, the whole boot doesn't exactly look waterproof, but I can assure you they, assure you they definitely are. And um, I've had no leaks at all with these. Obviously, if you're going to be going through water that's higher than the um, the ankle line, then you know you're going to get wet. But there is a lot of comfort in these boots. The tongue uh, is really padding because it's quite thick there with padding. Um, it's exactly the same right around the back um, and around the sides as well. So not only does it give a good amount of um, protection uh, with gripping your ankle and stopping it from going over, but it is also really padded and comfortable as well. See, that is the Northwest logo. And again, you can also see the stitching on these boots. Uh, it's really high quality, um, single layered, unlike uh, other types of boots, apart from around the tougher areas where it's double layered. And obviously different parts, uh, mainly for extra protection, you know, banging the boots, scuffing the boots. And the, you know, the key thing is you don't really have to 
Polish and Chinese. They're just mainly for out on the ground. It is up to you whether or not you want to extra waterproof these with like waterproofing spray or wax. Um, I've personally never had to because I've never had an issue with them. Um, but you know, I, I, I don't use them that much anymore. Uh, but they are still an absolute great go-to. They're my sort of second pair um, after my Accu's. Um, and you know, they're a really great pair of boots really. So when I had a look online, um, I struggled to find these exact boots. Um, I think they're quite sort of phased out of the Northwest um, website now. They're moving on to newer designs, which look absolutely spectacular. Um, but the most similar sort of boots, uh, they do come in different colours. So you can get sort of more brown, uh, blacks, um, you can get leather versions. Um, and they're, they're retailing around 35 to £50. Pounds. Um, but it just sort of depends where you go for them, um, or even if you can pick them up second hand. Um, I got mine out of uh, the stores. I just got given them, so you know I was really lucky with that one. But you know, they're not a massive expense for the actual boot they are. Obviously, they're sort of lesser known, but they're absolutely spectacular. You know, I can't really fault these boots, other than the fact that they're slightly small, uh, slightly lower down. Um, but you know that's sort of what I prefer really and you know different environments call for different types of boot um, and this is a lot better for sort of like country trails um, and other places like that obviously uh, you know you're probably not going to see many of these around um, but they are absolutely spot on for civil market um, as well as um, you know if you want to use them for military um, you know, they're great for all, sort of like airsoft and camping, all that sort of stuff. Um, just a great all sort all rounder sort of boot. Um, and they do go well with the camouflage. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, like I said, there is another video um, after this one, uh, which is going to be my Altbergs. Um, you know, check out the video before this, which was the, um, the Accus. Uh, and that will complete the set of um, boot videos at the moment. Um I really respect um, you all for, you know, liking and, and subscribing. You know, I'm literally two subscribers away from 200. I really, you know, I really want it to sort of boost up. Try and get as much people watching as possible, subscribing, commenting. You know, if there's anything you want to know, just let me know, uh, either in the comments or DM Instagram. You know, please like, because it really helps me sort of understand what you want to see. Um, and, you know, just please, please share the channel, you know, help it grow. Uh, just like the other channels that have sort of gone from nothing. Um, I would really, really appreciate that. So, once again, just thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.